Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up the API add-on on your Cosmo instance. So the API add-on is only buyable on Built by Bit, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video you've already bought it. But if you haven't, there should be a purchase button next to the download button on the page. Once you've bought it, you can go over here to downloadable add-ons and download API add-on, and you should see it downloads in your browser. So I'm also going to assume you've got Cosmo already set up and running. And there's another video you can watch if you want to do that. We're first going to want to right click and extract all in this file we've just downloaded. And you should see all of these files here. So what you're going to want to do is log into your server and find the Cosmo folder that you've put everything in. It's going to do this in the SFTP window here. So mine is slash root slash Cosmo. You can want to open the modules folder and then in here just copy the API add-on.pyc file. And then simply go to your console and then just go to your console and go to the Cosmo folder. Don't do what I just did here and try and run it when it's not actually in the folder. And then when you run Cosmo, you should see there's actually an error while loading the API add-on and it wants us to change our API key to something unique. So if I just exit out of the program, we need to go into our settings file and scroll down to the API add-on settings, which is down here. We need to change this to a random passphrase. I'm just gonna change it to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, do not do this, change it to something actually random. You can generate one online if you want to, because this will give everyone access to anything you can do. Once you save that, it should upload it back to your VPS. And then we can rerun Cosmo one more time and you should see it says API add-on loaded successfully. And there we go, Cosmo is now online. You can look at the endpoints on the docs so you can see what you can actually do with this. You'll have to replace example.com with your IP address. Or if you've changed the DNS on your domain, you can also use that. And there's all sorts of different API endpoints you can do, some for users and some for admins only. And that's pretty much it. If you have any issues, join the Discord server using a link in the description, and then we can help you out with your API add-on.